Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to write materials and methods in a research article based on a secondary data. In a secondary data research design, a researcher organizes, collates and analyzes the data samples for valid research conclusions. A secondary data research involves compiling existing data from a variety of resources. Basically, Secondary data research is a common approach to a systematic investigation in which the researcher depends on solely on existing data in the course of the research process. Secondary data is previously collected data and it is collected by any person or organization other than one using it. However, it is notable that the secondary data is the past data. There are multiple sources of secondary data. Secondary data collection process is economical in terms of time and money. However, sometimes researchers need to pay for the data required from the database services. In general, secondary data is in refined form, but sometimes researchers carry out some statistical treatments as per requirements of research. When it comes to accuracy and reliability, the secondary data are considered to be relatively less accurate and reliable. But in all cases, but not in all cases. Generally, there are three types of secondary data considered in the studies. Cross-sectional data, time series data, and panel data. Cross-sectional data is the data collected a single point in time on a statistical unit, whereas time series data is collected at different points in time. Panel data contains observations about different cross-sections across time. Materials and method sections in secondary data studies depend on the data type and estimation methods used for the analysis. For the explanation of how to write material and methods in a secondary data study, I will show you a representative research paper. Here I have a representative published paper in Frontiers in Environmental Science. The link of the research paper is available in the description of this video. It's an open access paper. You can also download it for free. We see in this paper, after the introduction and literature review sections, the authors have written the material and method sections. The authors have divided this section into subsections in which first subsection is theoretical framework and model construction. You can see in the start of this section, the authors have provided a brief detail of theoretical underpinnings and their respective citations. The authors have described the variables and also provided their descriptions. For instance, CO2 is carbon dioxide per capita, FIN is financial inclusion, TI is technological innovation, and you can see uh, the author has missed the description of TI variable. The researcher need to be careful while writing the description and should write the description of each variable included in the model. GOP is the green openness. GDP is economic growth. EC is energy consumption or energy use. In addition to this, you can also see that the authors have also explained how the FIN variable have been constructed using principal component analysis in the PCA in short. In the next subsection, the authors have provided the details of the data used in the analysis. In this subsection, the authors have explained the data type and time periods as they have mentioned annual data from 2004 to 2018. The authors have also mentioned the panel of countries. In this study, the data for, from BRICS countries, including Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa have been used. 
In the same paper, the authors have summarized the variables and their descriptions in a table. In this table, the researchers have detailed the variables, their respective symbols, and their unit of measurements and sources of data in detail. The researcher should also write complete information while writing the description of the variables and data sources. The next subsection is the estimation methodology. It is better to summarize the estimation methods in a figure. You can see in this paper, the authors have displayed the estimation strategy in a figure, which explains step by step detail of the estimation methods and diagnostics used in the analysis. Since the author have used a panel data from 2004 to 2018, they have tested the cross-sectional dependence, heterogeneity, stationarity, and panel co-integration tests, long-run and short-run estimations. They have checked the robustness of the estimates and Granger causality tests they have applied in the analysis. The authors have also provided a brief description of cross-sectional dependence tests, panel root tests, and panel co-integration tests. Moreover, the authors have also provided the description of, of long-run estimations and panel co-integration causality tests. In summary, the researcher should divide the materials and method sections into subsections. The author should provide the theoretical foundations of the model developed. The detail of the econometric models used is also fundamental. The researcher should describe how the variables were constructed. The description of data sources is necessary. And the most important is estimation methodology. The estimation methodology used should be detailed. Moreover, it is also critical to explain what pretests were applied, what estimation methods were used, and how robustness of the estimated models was checked. It is also necessary to explain. Please subscribe the channel and press bell icon for the new updates from this channel. Thank you.